Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Sorrel Gibson. Just posting. Um, I am your loopy chick on the go. Getting ready to... Uh, getting more acclimated to these videos that I'm being put out there. Um, well, today's story, I guess you could say, mm -hmm. is about learning how to be still. So I still have this issue with not knowing how to sit down and calm my nerves. Um... Because I'm always on the go trying to push to do what needs to be done in some way, form, or fashion. Not trusting the process of what I've already been through. How far I've already come. And where I can go to next. And realizing a lot of stuff that can be done, can be done from the comfort of your own bed or your own home or even if you sit up and sit at the table if you can't get out of bed and you can use your thumbs or camera it can't be done you know you can reach the world excuse me um so you guys haven't really seen me 2019 has really been a struggle for those who don't know my mother passed in june my godmother passed in july and i had almost a near-death experience thereafter so um i had gallbladder issues that almost really took me out so um with that said after i got out the hospital which was here recently um i just got tired of sitting down i'd already been in a hospital for so long i was just tired of sitting still and i started to get restless and i got up I moved around, I did some things, and got pushed at by family, of course, um, for not being still. Um, true enough, a lot of it was positive in a way that, you know, was taking care of business. But how do I take care of, how is business going to continue to be taken care of if I don't take care of myself, right? So today is a sit my tail down at home day and do what I need to do from my bed. A lot of it, well, for the rest of the week for the most part, except for Sunday. Excuse me, Sunday. Um, I'll be at one event for maybe a few hours and that's after church and bringing myself home and laying back down. Um, Thereafter, I, I don't know, I'm hoping this is helping someone to know that even if you're in the bed, there's still a lot that can be done. There's phone calls that can be made, there's posts that can be done, there's, there's, even if you get to have an at-home job in your bed, you're able to have, feel fulfilled mm -hmm. in your life. Um feel fulfilled in some kind of way in your life even if you're in bed because there's so many different ways of how to do things now with technology so with that said I want you all to know um, regardless of how much you want to be on the go and get up and move and do what everybody else does you still have purpose just in what it is that you do because someone has to sit there and get it done piece by piece and you can't do that moving around a lot of times there's different components to every puzzle different pieces to every puzzle and you just have to play your piece to make things complete so don't forget that you are still worth something you are still useful even if you're in the bed or in the house and can't move from that spot Things can still be done. Things can still happen. And they can still happen with you. So I really hope this helps someone, blesses someone, and knows that they still have purpose to be able to move around in your home, in your bed, in your mind. So that's all I came to say. Let you know that I love you. And Loopy's the two rock. We are here to make sure that we have the resources at the Gibson Lucas Arc. We're here to make sure the resources are out there to make sure that you are able to know that you are worth it and survive and thrive until a cure comes so that you can get up and do what it is that you need to do. 
So that is pretty much all I got to say. So until next time, I will talk to you soon. I love you all. Peace.